All right, good morning. What I'm bringing you now, seeing how it's Memorial Day weekend, and it's my birthday, so I'm off today. I am bringing you a knife that was used um, during wartime. I am super happy to have this in my collection. I had sought after this thing for a long time. And every time I found an example of it, it was in really rough shape. So I was glad to get one that was in such good shape. And um, it's the Cataratagus 225Q Quartermaster's Knife. This one's from around 43. And it is an awesome example. Stack leather handle. Beautiful finish. Has the hammerhead pommel on it, which is really three stack disc. And this thing is made for pounding. Beautiful beautiful job on the stack leather handle this is a awesome example of a extremely famous World War II fighting knife it's just a beautiful piece I love the fullers on both sides small blade catcher there really nice guard this is pure meat and taters here fits so well in the hand man a good knock with that it'd be shrippy time a lot of these were used for opening ammo crates and barrels and army corps of engineers issued a lot of them the navy used a lot of them They're just super awesome. I love the logo heights wrote in cursive writing. And it's the 225Q Quartermaster. Awesome blade. Awesome blade. I just wanted to bring this to you. Let everybody know that 22 of our vets a day commit suicide in the United States. It's a horrible number. Um, I'll tell you another horrible statistic that I don't really know the number of, but I see it on a daily basis, is the amount of drug addicted people in our nation. People that are addicted to drugs just don't realize the pain and suffering that it causes the loved ones. It's, it's heartbreaking. It's stealing the souls from our children. It's it's something an a individual has to overcome themselves. And it is a struggle. And I just pray that my loved ones, your loved ones, all will overcome that. All right, everybody, y'all have an awesome day. I hope to bring y'all a few more blades throughout the day. Hopefully I can squeeze in a couple jug killings. Y'all have a good one. And that's it for the 225Q Cataratagus Quartermaster Knife. There's the original sheath. It's eight rivets.
This one has something in the leather. I can make out a, a E, E, and that's about it. Looks like Lee, maybe, but um, you can't really tell. But a lot of history with this. A lot of history. All right, everybody, I appreciate you watching. This is Donovan from Mississippi, and y'all have a good one.